um, plans compared to what happened, like your plans that you had and whatever? It's like, I had a plan, I was like, I'm going to focus on dance, I'm going to focus mm -hmm. on... Like, I'm actually not, I don't, I don't, it's not, not, the, it's not, I'm not upset that what I planned didn't happen. Yeah. Because it's obviously taught me now, okay, okay, this is, this is the way you want to go, this is the industry, because I remember the book, okay, that I performed and these were men that came all the way to get down and they like professional in the um, so they like and they like precious you first with her so I was like oh my word I wanna be here because these men so awful far like and they have the things and they got like moves or whatever but then I was like no take this as an opportunity to learn what you want to do in the future. No no, no. <laughs> um, your plans for next year? I haven't thought that far. <laughs> but, um, I mean, at, at this point, because um, we're going to do video production and not oh, that scene, yeah. so I'm going to try and uh, focus on getting my video skills out there or whatever. And then, um, but I'm also going to obviously keep at dancing. Duh. I did meet up with this one amazing videographer Alan Visuals, go check him out. Um, I'm gonna be working with him soon. So I obviously wanna get my tips from him and then also use him as a videographer some of my day. It's actually a question I wanted to ask you, like per se, do you feel like with the whole videography setup like you like the video and all that stuff? Do you feel demotivated like when it comes to equipment and all those sort of things? Oh, do you yeah. ever go through? Yo, at the beginning of the year, there was this, I got this crazy, this, this game was like amazing. And I was like, I need, I need to have this. But then I was thinking, okay, I take them the make of it and it looks very easy to make with like, like household things. Then I then I checked my contrast and I was like, DIY gimbal. And then I got a DIY gimbal and then I made my own gimbal. Okay, well, my dad, I bought the boots. But um, I actually have it and I used it. Check out my previous few videos. I used that. Um, and my um, current videographer, my friend, she uses it. Um, and obviously, like, it just helps. It helps with stability. It just makes me feel better that I have something now to move around. But do you find that now that you have to sort of like use a makeshift um, uh -huh. gimbal? that maybe you have better skills than when you actually get yes. your real build. But then the thing is, is also yeah. I haven't been able to practice it at Because the yeah. specific, yeah. specific reason I used it was, well maybe it was to start doing dance videos because that's, that's what I want to go yeah. into. That's what, that's what I, so it's difficult for me now because I actually haven't practiced it well. But I'm hoping to get into that line of work to see. Has your focus changed? Like I think, okay, my focus was to get the videography, the dancing and whatever out there and I mean I still aim to go there so I don't think it's changed. Like I've been able to explore and experience different things that I never thought I would experience but I still think that what I, I still want to get videos out there and I still want to get like um, my work and my brand out there as well and I feel like it has, like a lot of people will come up to me and be like, oh my word, are you crazy? Like I saw your videos and I'm like, mm. <gasps> you actually oh, see that stuff. You feel stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I feel good about that. Um, what lessons have you learned and what has taught you this? I've learned, I've learned a lot. I really can't think now on the spot, but I feel like I've learned, le I've learned how to, okay, like I said, time management. I've learned how to organize myself. So that I also need to keep myself um, in good shape. Like I've been active in the gym like a boss. Like I'm so proud of myself. Um, I've been able to like explore, I've been able to force myself to try new things because I've been very lucky and I'm like, oh no, I don't like, and my mom would always chew me like, you need to learn, you need to learn these things, you need to see what is happening out there in the world and then I've been able to do that. So I've, I've, I've learned not to say no at the right time. So. And I think that's a very important lesson to learn. Um, to yeah. not be in your own comfort zone, to be able to get out of the comfort zone. And I saw this one picture, you, where you want to be is not in your comfort zone. 
So you need to be able to get out there and put yourself out there. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Here we go. Yes, we go. Okay. If you've got enough questions, that's, that's, that's Chris. It's true. Imagine if I wasn't recording this whole time. Nice. Yo, that was such a shame. But, yo, that was Chrissy's Ting Ting's. Her video was on her channel. Go check out his link. He's probably somewhere here. Yeah, that's something that I really want to do. A whole routine, guys. What do you think? Yeah, just let us know. Specifically, like, oh.